Most people who have never been through it have no idea how easily it can happen to them. Everyone has heard of Child Protective Services, or CPS. Many envision them as saviors of horribly abused children, guardians of innocence. But in all truth, the very system designated to protect children does more harm than good. The general American public is not aware that foster care in itself harbors its own threats to the safety and well-being of children. At best, children live with strangers where they are unloved and nothing belongs to them. At worst, they're starved, beaten, raped, and murdered. Foster care is prison. Foster care is cruel and unusual punishment. We must at all costs work to preserve families. My name is Michelle D. Chan. I am founder and director of California Families Rise a NorCal activist organization holding the family regulation system accountable. This video is the fourth in a series featuring the stories of those most impacted by foster care and adoption. The protest footage in this video features our movement work over the years, and the stories are the stories of our members. This is Reggie's story. I am Reggie Molina Staten, and I've had a really hard life. I was abused as a child, and Children and Family Services, then called CPS, uh, failed me. Um, they didn't take care of me once they pulled me out and put me in the system. Instead, they made things sometimes worse. Um, they bounced me around like a pinball machine. And as soon as I aged out of foster care right before my 19th birthday, they, my foster parents were forced to toss me out like trash. Um, I was alone with no money, no job, no family, no license, and no place to really go. So I ended up homeless repeatedly and on drugs and uh once uh in my early 20s i went to jail it took me years to recover but i finally did um slowly i pieced my life together and sometimes it fell, fell back apart and um the system chewed me up and spit me out once i had had my children uh I got a place to live and I was pretty self-sufficient, but CPS came back into my life. They took my kids, I got them back. Then they came back again and again until they were able to take my kids one more time. I was eventually TPR. I had never stood a chance. For years, I was depressed and um, I had lost my will to live because I had lost my children. Without them, I didn't want to be here anymore. But I found my voice with other like-minded parents and I try my best to be an a activist. Um, I have never stopped and I would never stop. <laughs> I will never give up because I wanted my children to know that I fought for them till the bitter end. I prayed and uh, night after night I cried myself to sleep if I was able to even get sleep 
I prayed that they were okay, but I, I knew in my soul that they weren't, no matter what I was told of how perfect their life became. I just knew that they weren't. Recently, one of my daughters contacted me. She found a way because they have been prevented from contacting me. And she told me the travesties that have taken place to her and her sisters. And um, there's no way that I can repeat the horrors that they experience. They have been beaten. They have been raped. They have been starved. They have been tortured. And um, I was able to get into contact with one of my other daughters. Through this daughter, I got the information from her. And um, I just hope and pray that the system will let me protect them now. And uh, because I feel so awful that I haven't been able to protect them from these horrors. But I hope that if I continue to fight, I will be able to bring them all home.